Russia Friday's terrorist attack at a Moscow concert hall claimed at least 137 lives, according to an update from Russia's investigative committee. Russia taking a look at the recent updates of the Russian attack. A Moscow court convened late on Sunday to hear prosecutors' demands on pre-trial detention for a group of men detained in the aftermath of Friday's Crocus City Hall attack, which claimed lives of over 130 people. Yes, Sachin, now speaking of the suspects, all of them whom are nationals of Tajikistan appeared individually. Thus far, terrorism charges have been levelled against 32-year-old Dalazon Mirzoyev, who faces a life sentence if found guilty. Prosecutors told the judge that the suspect had admitted his guilt. The court has opted to rule behind closed doors. Footage from the scene shows the suspect confined to a glass cage in a courtroom. Mirzoyev, father of four, has been placed in two-month pre-trial detention, which is standard practice in Russia for cases of this nature. The second man, Saidakrami Rashabali Zod, has also reportedly pleaded guilty. The father of one appeared with his right ear bandaged, having sustained an injury during his arrest. He has also been remanded in custody for two months. The court has also received petitions for the arrest of two more defendants, Muhammad Sobir Faizov and Shamsin Fariduni. They too will remain in custody until the 22nd of May. Russia Friday's terrorist attack at a Moscow concert hall claimed at least 137 lives, according to an update from Russia's investigative committee. Now, actually, the search for bodies is continuing as of Sunday in the part of the complex that burned down in a massive fire. According to investigators, three children are among the fatalities and a total of 62 bodies have been identified so far. Also, health officials have reported that at least 180 other people were injured in the atrocity.